The pre-party came Thursday in Jakarta, with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi taking his place to celebrate his country and its role. At this summit for the Southeast Asian group ASEAN, just days before the main summit for leaders from the G20 in India. The 21st century is the century of Asia and a century for all of us. For this, it is essential that we build a rules-based post-COVID world order and make collective efforts for the welfare of mankind. And so Delhi spruces up the Indian capital and megacity, getting ready for that summit Saturday and Sunday of the G20. Leaders from the group of 20, 20 of the world's largest economies, 85% of global output, 75% of trade, two-thirds of world population, converging on India, the world's leading emerging power. You're looking at a country that is becoming very powerful in many ways, uh, militarily, economically, and also in terms of its geopolitical weight in the international system. Through the summit, India hopes to boost its soft power as champion of issues that affect poor countries, like food security, debt, and adapting to climate change. Less important to India at this summit are high-charged geopolitics, like tension with China, as Chinese President Xi Jinping stays at home, and the war in Ukraine, a high priority for the West and for Russia itself, but not for India. So Narendra Modi will try to steer the summit toward issues that help him and his country. But others will come with their own priorities. Keeping control will be Modi's test.